So for today's video, I figured why not do a fun little segment where I'll do one shower routine with one brand using one of their collections. I'll rate the products that I use out of five stars and I'll let you know what I would keep and what I would not repurchase. So if you ever see Is It Worth It on the thumbnail, it's part of the little series I've now started. So today I'm gonna let you know what I think about the Occitan Almond Collection. The only part of their collection that I didn't use was shampoo and conditioner and pretty much their hair care products because I feel like for me to explain how I wash my hair with extensions in requires a whole video on its own. So we're just gonna skim right through. And as much as I love filming body care and shower care, just as of late and for future videos, I just don't feel comfortable panning out too far. So you're gonna see a lot of close-ups and you will not see my face when I shower. I will leave everything that I use, including this hair mask, in the link below, just in case you're curious. I do wanna put a little disclaimer, nothing here is sponsored, so I will be as honest as I feel like I should be without hurting the brand's feelings. So I drained out the mask and clipped my hair back, getting into body care, starting with, this soap. The product details did say you could use direct to skin application, but there's no real scrub down without a loofah. I did choose one that wasn't too harsh or too exfoliating just cause I'm doing double cleansing and then a three step. So you don't wanna, you know, in case your skin is sensitive, you just don't wanna do too much. Now the soap had a great lather to it, which we liked because that means all the oils and dead skins have somewhere to be trapped into. I will say it leaves a very squeaky feeling once rinsed off, sort of like how most bar of soaps feel, but I like that a little bit goes a long way and I feel like it could last a long time, which is great because it wasn't that expensive. So I washed off the soap and I washed out the mask and I went in with the exfoliator. This one has the same crushed almonds that you see on the soap, so I like that. You kind of get it from both in case you want to skip on one. Here's what it looks like close up. It reminds me of honey, I kind of liked it. But on the skin, it didn't do much exfoliating. But my preference is more salt-based, sugar-based, super scrubby-like exfoliators. So if you like gentle exfoliation, then this is for you. Now, first reaction seeing this one, I was like, okay, so it's not just a shower gel or is it? And my answer is no. It's a nice finisher though. So it has like an oily texture at first and then once it touches water it has a milk like finish the smell is amazing and it just leaves your skin really soft but it won't bubble up and it won't lather so don't use it alone there is minimal product left on skin but not enough for you to skip body care so we are gonna continue on with the same collection so i went in with their milk concentrate and it felt like just that. Honestly, it was a sheer light wear type of cream, which is surprising because they have two different types, which I'm gonna get into further on in the video. Um, so I expected this one to have more weight to it, but it was really light wearing. And then afterwards, I doubled down with their oil, the supple skin oil. This has to be maybe my favorite out of the whole bunch. Here's the before and after. So you can tell most of the glow really comes from the oil and I just know it's gonna be a summer favorite just cause of how it wears and the smell. If you see me looking down, it's cause I just wanna make sure I'm mentioning the right product and not saying like nonsense. Cause this is someone's brand, right? So I wanna be, I wanna be knowledgeable. We're gonna start with the soap bar. Honestly, the soap bar was really the soap bar was really good, it's my favorite. It was the cheapest out of the bunch. When it comes to double cleansing, some people feel like it's necessary, some people are like, no, a shower gel is like just enough. Other people explain it as, for example, a soap bar being shampoo and then a shower gel being conditioner for the skin, but honestly, like, they just want you to keep spending your money. So, like, This soap bar is one of my favorites. It will be repurchased 110%. I really really enjoyed it and a little goes a long way like I just put a little bit on the loofah the bubbles just kept on kept on as you saw definitely would repurchase the soap bar but I wouldn't repurchase the exfoliating soap 
it wasn't that expensive honestly i've seen a lot of exfoliators mark up their prices its leading competitors would be around the price range of 50 to 60 dollars canadian and this one's at 36 so for price it's not really it's not that bad it's just when i think of an exfoliator that i would go out and purchase i really do want to feel that scrub and i didn't feel the scrub but that shower oil not only will i repurchase it but i saw on the website that they have a refillable version so that's even better because now i could just keep this one container and keep refilling it with the refill the residue it leaves the smell it it feels so it just feels really good honestly i can't lie up to influencers and just us telling you to buy products we always like to use the words like i'm so obsessed i can't get over this da, da, da. like it's just it's okay i'm not it's really good though it's really good i just won't make it bigger than what it is like it's just really really good like it's not a soap in my opinion and doesn't claim to be it is cleansing but it's not a soap the cream this was the most expensive at 69 canadian dollars i would not repurchase this cream but i know why a lot of people would and i know why a lot of people are obsessed not everyone wants to feel like they have product on their skin some people like feeling like not dry but they just want to feel soft but not moisturized i want to feel like the i want to feel the oil they have a lotion version which is even more thin so i can't imagine getting that so yeah it's just not for me i really want something thick whipped and that leaves a lot of residue but that's okay because the oil is staying with me and it's going to be repurchased price wise it's not crazy i've seen some body oils get around 70 dollars this one's at 58 mm, i'm not a fan but it's not the worst i really love the smell and i really love that it's light some of the oils are too too thick i can't lie. especially for the summer i can see myself putting this in my bag putting this in my travels like in general i can really really predict this being a summer favorite for me at least like it's very into gourmand if you like milk smells um a little bit sweet sort of like you smell like a sugar cookie without oil just the just the sugar and the milk and the egg no no egg just the sh you smell good bro i just feel like it you just smell good i layered it with my favorite scent the dolce and cabana the one and i got compliments today so i'm not mad at it like i'm really not mad not mad, not mad, not mad. Total of everything that I got insanely is $270. I don't even know if I can really say that's crazy because I know other brands that if you were to purchase their full set, you're touching 300, 350 sometimes. So we'll say that I'm giving this 3.5 stars. Why 3.5? The soap did it for me. The shower oil did it for me. And then the supple skin oil did it for me. But the cream. And the exfoliator three stars for every product that i really liked and a great half a point for the smell i want to say thank you so much for watching if you made it this far in the video um it's almost been one full year since i've been on this platform my first ever video was a shower routine i feel like i'm gonna take it down because like i said in the video I'm a little stingy about how much of my body i show even though like if i was showing myself in the pool it would be the same amount like i don't know it's the concept the fact that i am in the shower and i know that i'm fully like you know in the shower that i just don't feel like showing too much i wish a little shoulder a little arm a little leg up my back you know but never like we're giving invasive no shade to those that are comfortable i feel like that's just some that's just somewhere i'm never really gonna be so and i don't care to force myself to be there so yeah that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching i can't wait to do more of these i don't know there's something that's super interesting about the way things are marketed the product the quality i'm gonna try and keep these consistent make sure to let me know what brands you think i should try out so far i would love to do a full review of way fenty skin sol de janeiro i'll just buy the ones that i've been eyeing anyway bye